and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Marlena, old girl, you're on your own this time. A million miles from home and stuck in the middle of an asteroid shower. If I don't find shelter soon, I'll be smashed to space dust. My sensors indicate a small planet ahead. No telling what's down there. I'll just cross my fingers and hope for the best. Here goes nothing. So that's how you came to land on Eternia. Yes, and I can see it all again, thanks to Man-at-Arms memory projector. Well, you were some pilot, Mother. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Mom, what was Earth like? I'm afraid you'd find it kind of boring, Adam. There are no giant green tigers or magical castles, but it's a beautiful place filled with beautiful people. Sounds as if you miss it. Oh, sometimes. But my real home is here on Eternia, with you and your father. I wouldn't trade anything for the life we have together. Excuse me, Your Highness, but I was looking for Adam. Uh-oh. Of course. I'll see you later. you this afternoon? Well, I, uh, uh... I thought you agreed to run through some combat maneuvers with me. I did? Oh, yeah, I did, I guess, but I, I got so busy this morning that... Really? Let's see how busy you were. Hey, don't! Aren't you ashamed of yourself? <sighs> yeah, I didn't catch a thing. <laughs> see you on the drilling field. someone fooling around in my workshop. I'm not fooling around, man-at-arms. I'm making a surprise for the king and queen. The last surprise you gave them nearly burned down the castle. I'm afraid to ask what this one does. It's a music box, of course. Just lift the lid, and it plays a beautiful melody. Where did you get the parts for this? Over in that crate. Why? 
That's where we keep the bomb parts. This thing's going to explode. <laughs> the explosion. If I've told you once, I've told you a million times, stay out of my workroom. What's Orko up to? Mischief, as usual. He almost wrecked the palace with another of his crazy inventions. <laughs> Speaking of inventions, your memory projector made a big hit with the Queen. Good. Our Queen is quite a woman. Adam's lucky to have her for a mother. Mm -hmm. She makes me wonder about my own parents. I've told you, Tila. Your father was one of the greatest men I ever knew. He gave his life in battle so Eternians could live in peace. I was honored to adopt you as my own daughter. And my mother? That is the secret I've promised never to reveal. Someday you will learn that secret, Tila, but not from me. girl, I had no memory of my mother, only of man-at-arms, who was always there for me. He raised me alone, teaching me both the skills of a warrior and the manners of the royal court. And because of his love and guidance, I excelled at both. But as to who my mother was, or is, I have no idea. face, Tila. Did Cringer use your shield as a water dish again? No, Orko. I was just remembering back to when I was a little girl. Oh? Bad memories? No memories is more like it. If only I could see what happened before I was born. Maybe if I were to ask the Oracle of the Crystal Sea. The Oracle? No, Tila. It's too dangerous. I've got to take that chance. But, but the Oracle's cave is surrounded by shadow beasts and monsters. You can't go alone. I have to. And you mustn't tell anyone where I've gone, Orko. But the Crystal Sea, Tila? I know. I'd risk anything to learn the truth. Hurry. Yes, it's not like her to run off alone. Don't worry. Tila can look out for herself. I hope. Do you know where she's going, Orko? I promise not to tell. After all, if Tila wants to go running off to the Crystal Sea, that's her business. The Crystal Sea? Oops. Even Tila's no match for the evil creatures there. Orko, you should have stopped her. I tried. I tried. Cringer, we've got to find her. Whoa, don't tell me I have to be that dreadful battle cat again. Sorry, old cat, but he could stay on Tila's trail better than you could. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> some mission of her own. She seems bound for the Crystal Sea, your home territory, merman. I beg you, Skeletor, let me deal with her. Years ago, her guardian, man-at-arms, rescued a victim I had chosen for the sea demon. I now demand revenge! So be it! <laughs> It 
It's not the prettiest place I've ever been, but I didn't exactly come here for a vacation. A shadow beast? I hate to meet one of those monsters. seeking your past, a past that only I can make clear. Behold, Tila. Do you know him? Wait, yes. It's man-at-arms as a young warrior. Years ago, your adopted father was making his way through the evergreen forest. He had received a strange psychic signal, drawing him urgently through the woods. Then suddenly, a sound reached his ears. It was the cry of a falcon. Merman and his subjects had come to capture Zoar the Falcon. They intended to sacrifice the mystic bird to an evil sea demon. It would have been easy for the falcon to have flown away, but there was something in the nest she was protecting, something she'd give her very life to defend. <laughs> Tila can take care of herself, but I can't shake the feeling she's headed for danger. After all these years, the daughter of my old enemy, Man-at-Arms, has finally fallen into my hands. If it's a rematch you want, Toadface, cut me loose. I'll give you one you won't forget. I have other plans for you, girl. A very special destiny for you to fulfill. So when He-Man and Battle Cat ran off to find Tila, I thought I'd tell you too. It seemed important to me. More important than you realize, Orko. To Tila's side I go, on Falcon's wings. <laughs> Tila, are you here? Easy, easy, great cat, easy. The oracle means us no harm. He-Man, your friend Tila is in danger. She has been captured by Merman. You've picked up their trail, eh? Let's go. Once every 20 years, 
The stars come into perfect alignment. That is the time Bakor may be summoned from its underwater slumber with this, the Crimson Pearl. Who is this Bakor? And what do you want with me? Whoever commands the Crimson Pearl also commands Bakor, mightiest of sea demons. But Bakor demands a sacrifice for its services. Twenty years ago, your father rescued a victim I had selected. How fitting that you should now take her place. <laughs> Let us summon Bakul. Hold it, fish face. He-Man, stop them, you fools. I must complete the spell. Now, Bakul, hear my command. Come forth and serve the master. Of the Crimson Pearl! Better let me handle this, Cat. Your claws weren't made for climbing crystal. I think we could use a tunnel! That's just what I was thinking. The things people leave lying around. Now, Bakul, take your offering and serve me well. No! Tila, use my sword! later, but... Thanks for the rest, you fool! Now see if you can save yourself! <laughs> Sorry, big fella. Let's hope this will hold back hole for another 20 years. You risked everything to go back for Merman. Any life, even an evil one, is worth saving. Now, let's go home. Wait, He-Man. There is one more thing I have to do. Oh, Oracle, finish your tale. Tell me of my mother. Young man-at-arms had driven off Merman and made his way to the falcon's nest. Inside the nest was a baby girl. It was the sorceress's young daughter. With the passing of her husband, she had brought the child to the mountain to raise her in peace. But after Merman's attack, the falcon knew that without a real home, the baby would never be truly safe. The young warrior's heart went out to the child, and he promised to care for her all his days. You are that child, Tila. That means my mother is the sorceress of Grayskull. Mother? Yes, you are my own daughter, and someday you will take my place as the mystic guardian of Grayskull. But for now, you have other deeds to do, and until that time when your special destiny calls, you must forget what you have learned today. She will only remember that her mother was a woman who loved her very much. I leave her secret with you, He-Man. 
You can, I assume, keep a secret? I've had lots of practice. In today's story, I went in search of my mother. I found her, but I also found something else. That the man who had cared for me since I was a baby, who loved me as he would his own daughter, was just as much my father as any parent could be. And so whether they are someone we were born to or whether they chose us to adopt, it doesn't matter. The ones who protect us and teach us and love us, they are the ones we call mother and father. And they deserve the same kind of love from us. Until next time, 